Hello all. Uh, I'm running uh, Linux Mint uh, version 17.2 release candidate and it's the uh, cinnamon edition. And I've been playing around with this for the last two or three days and uh, I'm very very impressed. Um, this is coming from an Arch Linux user um, and a Windows of course user and etc. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm really astounded uh, by uh, the work that's gone into um, this version of uh, Linux Mint, and which is based on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS long-term support, so 2019 or so. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I thought I'd put together a video just to some of the things that I w was very surprised to find. And how easy it was to install packages that I would normally use in my Arch Linux XFCE4 desktop. I will say um, there are many, many, many good points. Uh, a couple of the down points would be it's a little slower in some places. Uh, boot up time is not as quick. Uh, but then again, maybe I have to remember there's a lot of stuff going on as well that uh, I'm asking the system to load. Um, and it's using upstart and not systemd. So it took a bit of getting uh, used to again <laughs> uh, for configuring files. But this is really, really well done. And congratulations to the... Uh, People at uh, Linux Mint to the artwork of the developers and the coders, a the, the massive amount of work has gone into this. Um, so, I, as I said, I've messed around with this. So, I've done some customizations, obviously, <laughs> to the, t the uh, panel and to the start. First thing out of the box, what I really like to see is the super key. I mean, it's on pretty much everybody's keyboard, so it's there and it works. So what have I done to the menu? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a Windows 7 um, like menu, I guess. And uh, you can, as with Cinnamon, you can search uh, file paths for in your system. So like uh, slash data will bring up my uh, data um, partition on another hard drive. And um, this is Nemo uh, file manager. I just uh, toggle the uh, side panel off and I like it like that most of the time and F3 to toggle uh, split view I guess so let's get to the goods uh, with this menu I like to have it very simple as it is as you can see here system tools and yes I've installed lots and lots of programs so system settings sorry um, the usual stuff what I like though was accessibility and I'll zoom in because I can. I can zoom in. So that's one of the mid-finger tests for a Linux OS. How easy can you zoom in? Because uh, my eyesight over the years is getting worse. And so the modifier key with this uh, mouse wheel up and down. And you can have the Alt, Super, or Control. I wish they had a Shift, but that's fine. It still works very well. And just for some crazy uh, things to try, I have M Player. As you can see here, running and scaled the video down, which is looking at my desktop compu computer conglomeration. I have to get a new case one day, but uh, <laughs> there it is. I replaced, uh, well, I didn't replace, I just installed gm run, a very simple run command, and then I set it up for the Windows key and R, uh, run a command, and I type in uh, cinnamon, start typing cinnamon, press tab, and you have a list of... Uh, things it finds is uh, we can take a uh, cinnamon looking glass so press enter and here it is here you go to log and you get an idea of what's starting up basically and uh, there's a few other neat things this thing will do if you look here in the uh, log I'll zoom in uh, there's the uh, oops I just missed it again it was uh, it's about nine seconds or so on a solid state drive there it is 9.51 milliseconds to start and it shows you all the uh, other things that are launching as it's starting and there are a lot of these at cinnamon.org programs which is uh, an interesting way to do things 
Um, yeah, there's actions. It's just uh, you, if you want to, you can crash Cinnamon, restart Cinnamon, reset the settings, and you can uh, fall watcher and of course quit. I said super. Yeah, so super L will bring that up. Super key plus L will bring this up as well. And I don't know if there's a key to quit, but uh, that's a neat uh, thing to have. Some kind of logging, boot logging, you know, readily available, either through the terminal or through an interface like Looking Glass. So further digging into the control panel or the system settings, Pulse Audio um, control panel basically, um, they've added in the Cinem startup uh, login sound and switching sounds, and I think you can customize. You know, gives you the preview you play. Pretty neat sound. Uh, you can toggle these on and off, or customize, or whatever, and change the volume. I haven't seen that before. That's really really neat. And uh, effects wise, there's all kinds um, that you can you can do. For example, uh, you can set up to wherever you hover your mouse, like a compass, like uh, scaling, um, not scaling, but a menu, a plug-in, like, almost like an expose sort of thing or whatever, sort of an app switcher. Um, so you can have that and it's pretty, pretty responsive actually. You can also set up the menu to hover to open, which I sometimes I use. It's pretty neat. And startup applications, uh, it's nice to see this kind of thing. Is it uh, if you double click on any of these, say uh, it gives you the commands and a name and stuff, and you can turn it on and off. You can uh, specify the delay time. I believe that's in seconds. I haven't checked that. Sorry. And you can add your own. And uh, Nvidia. Uh, I used, uh, I forget the name of the repository. I think you can go to your uh, software source list. There you go. Don't ask about why I don't have a password prompt all the time. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Um, it's not that hard. So, PPAs. Um, here it is there. Sources and the, uh, the source and the binaries, uh, XOR, Edgers, PPA, and I went to the uh, this driver manager, and it picked it up, and I just installed the NVIDIA proprietary drivers on the desktop, so it's good to see that. In addition to all those uh, features and effects, such as the uh, cube effect, which you can get through the uh, spices, or whatever they call it, um, through your settings manager. Uh, you can also mix and match file managers, terminals, picture viewers, video, audio, remove, uninstall, or whatever you wish. You can do it through the command line, through the package center. Uh, that's one drawback is the, the, wherever it is, software manager is a little on the slow side for me. Uh, that's why I use the command line. <laughs> I guess it's uh, looking on the, uh, you know, it's uh, going out onto the internet and uh, making sure everything's up to date. So this is, uh, you, if you use Cinnamon, and I, uh, I mean, sorry, Mint, <laughs> uh, you probably recognize this software manager. Like I said, it gives me some ideas if I browse through it, but most of the time I use the command line to install stuff. But it is, uh, it's nice to see something like this. Um, some things like I'm constantly surprised, such as Tursus. I don't know if you've heard of Tursus. There it is. <laughs> it's a Twitter client uh, for the command line. And the terminal is actually XFCE4 terminal. Uh, show menu bar help about. Very easy to change. Uh, uh, default settings, of course, through where everything else is, <laughs> system settings, preferred applications, so terminal, I chose XFC for terminal, it was a little strange running the GNOME terminal, it was getting weird output, and even without the custom alias and bash file, 
Uh, Ristretto, I replaced the image here with uh, whatever GNOME I have known. You see here, I installed LX Task Manager, LX DE Task Manager, LX Task, and it's using about that 475 megabytes out of 12 gigs of uh, memory. So it can be fairly low memory usage depending on what you have running. Right now, I'm sure it's higher than that. And I also installed Synap Synapse Launcher. Uh, that was from uh, PPA as well. So, task, there it is. And right now I'm at, uh, yeah, a gig and a half of memory because I, I got a lot of stuff running. But it's nice to have choices. Uh, I do have the system monitor installed. And resources, same idea, gig and a half. And the ability to right click and do things such as uh, change the background, create a launcher, open in terminal, open as roots. That's the same, well, it's Nemo, of course, handling the desktop. So, change the desktop background. I just left it at what it was out of the box, but it has a retro kind of wallpaper selection. Throughout the years, uh, you can use a custom. Might take a while to load that. There it goes. Settings, you can have uh, play randomly in minutes and uh, a slideshow kind of thing. So it's pretty neat, uh, very simple on the fly. Um, background changer. And I did find a key. However, when I do that, when I use that, it just turns a, this uh, random the background slideshow, I think so. Control Alt, uh, whatever that is, forward slash, so it turns it off. But that's fine. I don't mind. So I just realized uh, how long I've been talking about this. <laughs> uh, but overall, a, a really, really nice uh, upcoming release, I imagine. Uh, hopefully it will be out soon. I think I'll keep this on my uh, computer for a while and maybe some uh, add some mini videos on certain configurations that I, that I like to use that I've learned from Arch Linux and share them with you. So... Thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate it. And uh, any comments or questions, feel free to add them. And uh, as always, have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.